ओके हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डैम्ड हार्मोनिक ऑक्सीडेट मींस वी हैव टू सॉल्व द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ डैम्ड हार्मोनिक ऑक्सीडेटर यूजिंग लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके हियर दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट व्हेनेवर आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रैग दिस वन 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 बॉडी अप टू सम एक्सटेंड सपोज एक्स जीरो एंड इफ आई एम गोइंग टू लीव देन इट विल ऑक्सीलेट विदाउट एनी फ्रिक्शन इट विल कंटिन्यूसली ऑक्सीलेट अबाउट इट्स मेन पोजिशन दिस इज योर मेन पोजिशन बट इफ वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर द रेजिस्टिव मीडियम देन इट्स एम्पलीट्यूड कंटिन्यूसली डिक्रीज और डैम एंड फाइनली इट विल एट रेस्ट सो डैम्पिंग फोर्स वी नो दैट इज योर माइनस इज इनवर्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वी वेलोसिटी दैट वी नो एंड अपोजिंग द वेलोसिटी सो ओनली फॉर दैट माइनस is for opposing direct proportional to means this is the constant into v okay so we know that for the damping force uh, will be equal to minus b constant dx by dt and restoring force we know that always acting in the reverse direction of applied force due to which we can get the oscillation and if this displacement along this direction restoring force will be along backward direction so in the reverse direction only for that it will be minus kx that means restoring force always proportional to displacement but acting reverse way uh, of the displacement of the applied force or you can say of the uh, displacement okay so as much as i i'll be drag that much energy store or that much restoring force will be increased inside this spring which will be trying to restore its mean position so only for that restoring force will be equal to minus kx that we know and the solution the differential equation of damped harmonic oscillation or oscillator will be force uh, sorry um, force will be equal to total force m into d square x by dt square or f m into a equal to these two forces that is your minus kx minus b dx by dt or we can write m d square x by dt square plus b dx by dt plus this side taken uh, plus kx equal to 0 this is the double derivative is there so we can write x double dash plus b x dash plus kx equal to 0 let this is your equation number 1 now we are going to apply lt means laplace transform on this equation on this equation number 1 so if i am going to apply the laplace transform on this equation number 1 we here we can write am laplace transform applied x double dash plus b into laplace transform applied on x dash here x is the function of t okay plus k into laplace transform of x function of t equal to 0 so as we know that the laplace transform of the derivative uh, several times we have been discussed laplace transform of the derivative is this one so for this uh, here i am going to show you laplace transform of a nth derivative is your s to the power n f of s f of s means laplace transform of f of t okay f of t minus s to the power n minus 1 f of 0 that means uh, t equal to 0 uh, minus s to the power n minus 2 f dash 0 and so on so if we are going to consider n equal to 2 this will be 2 S to the power two, S to the power two minus one, one S to the power two minus two will be zero. Up to third term we have to write. So a into a into a square Laplace transform of. I'm going to zoom somewhat. You can see uh, Laplace transform of x function of t minus s into s into uh, x at t equal to zero minus x dash at t equal to zero. Plus b, plus b into Laplace transform of x dash t. X dash t means s into Laplace transform of x function of t minus x at t equal to zero plus k into Laplace transform of x. Laplace transform x, which is the function of which is the function of t. Laplace transform of x a uh, function of t. So here we are going to substitute. Right. Here we are going to substitute Laplace transform of x or x, which is the function of t, equal to x bar. 
so here laplace transform of x is will be substituted x bar and here a s into uh, a s into x zero minus x dash zero plus b see at t equal to zero I not written only zero I written x dash zero means x dash at t equal to zero x zero means x at t equal to zero okay plus b uh, b s into x Laplace transform of x into your x bar minus x at t equal to zero plus k into x bar equal to zero because here also Laplace transform of x is there. Now we are going to apply the boundary conditions. Boundary conditions means here I dragged up to certain distance x zero. So at t equal to zero, this is the position. I dragged this particle up to this much. So this spring is extended up to this much at t equal to zero. This particle will be here. The displacement is your x zero, but velocity there is no moment. I just dragged the moment the the velocity will be zero. So at t equal to zero, the displacement is x zero, and by velocity is your zero. So here a m a square x bar. Here uh, a m into s x zero means at t equal to zero displacement is your x zero. X is sub substitute zero minus velocity because I told that this is your uh, x dash x dash x dash means d x by d t velocity term. So this is the velocity term at t equal to zero is zero plus b into s x bar minus b b x at t equal to zero. That is your x zero plus k x bar equal to zero. Here these are the two uh, boundary conditions. X at t equal to zero x zero velocity. This is your velocity. Okay. Velocity, velocity, v at t equal to zero will be equal to zero, right? So here x bar, x bar, x bar three terms are there. So x bar taken common m a square b s plus k equal to here m s x zero uh, minus b x zero. Both are minus terms taken this side which will be plus m s plus b x zero. So x bar will be this term will be divided with this term. So x zero into m s plus b by m s s square plus b s plus k is equal to x zero is a constant. Okay, m into m into c here uh, I taken m common from numerator and denominator itself. If I will take m common, so m into s plus b by m taken m. Common from these three terms, a m into a square plus b by a m into s plus k by m. Okay, okay. X zero is there plus s plus b by m is there. Here a m a m got cancel, and we uh, we we get a square plus b by a m into s plus k by m. And here you have to just remember how this uh, denominator has been modified. This denominator is uh, has been modified. As s plus b by 2m whole square plus k by m minus b square by 4m square. See, it is easy somewhat to uh, to remember. See, numerator is your s plus b by m is there. That means s plus a format is there. Numerator is your in your s plus a a format. So denominator will be in the format s plus a square uh, plus or minus uh, mm, plus s. Uh, plus b square then i can put this as a cos okay so only for that this denominator has been modified as like this so s plus b by m is there so s plus b by 2m uh, b by 2m square plus k by m minus b square by 4m square that means this denominator is has been modified as this so here i uh, uh, put it as one star that you have to remember this one how this denominator has been rewritten or modified for further solving now here this one k by m minus b square by 4 m square is considered as omega 1 square omega 1 square is considered as k by m minus b square by 4 m square okay so x bar will be x 0 into s plus b by m whole divided by s plus b by 2m whole square plus omega 1 square s plus b by 2m was already there and this is substituted as omega 1 
sorry omega 1 square so omega 1 square now x0 is there x0 b by m is written as half b by m plus half b by m so 1 by 2 b by m plus 1 by 2 b by m is nothing but b by m okay now so x0 s plus bm x0 into s plus bm divided by this one plus x0 into b by 2m b by 2m divided by this one x0 into s plus b by 2m by this one and segregated by two terms two terms plus b x0 into b by 2m into this one okay okay now here x0 x plus b by 2m by this one s plus b by 2m square plus omega 1 square nothing changed i written plus here you can see here it, it, this is in the form of s by s square plus b square or a square means cos format it is there but it is not in the sign format sign format means omega should be here so for that omega i multiplied here and omega divided here so b by 2m x0 is there is constant omega by b by 2m is constant x0 is constant omega 1 multiplied here and divided here omega 1 by s plus b by 2m whole square plus omega 1 square now we are going to take the inverse laplace transform both the side so inverse laplace transform of x bar equal to inverse laplace transform of this and this so here you can see this is the x0 is the constant taken outside this will be the will be if x x sorry Mm. here i mistakenly written here s plus b by 2m this will be s huh? okay s this will be s mistake there written okay so s uh, s plus b by 2m here s plus b by 2m suppose here only s by s square plus omega 1 square will be there so what will the answer of inverse laplace transform only cos omega 1 t but here s plus b by m that means s minus of minus b by 2m is there that means e to the power minus b by 2m into t we have to uh, multiply by using fast shifting theorem several times we have been discussed okay so x0 is constant written over here into e to the power into e to the power minus b by 2m into t into cos omega 1 t plus x0 is the constant b by 2m omega 1 is there into here omega 1 by s plus b by 2m square plus omega 1 square see if omega 1 by s square plus omega 1 square will be there means answer will be sine omega 1t but as this is your s plus uh, one term is there means s minus of minus b by 2m is there so answer will be e to the power minus b by 2m into t this factor will be multiplied with this one by fast shifting theorem so finally we got the answer x equal to x0 e to the minus b by 2m into t taken common from these two terms we found omega cos omega 1 t plus b by 2m omega 1 into sine omega 1 t this will be the <coughs> final solution <coughs> that means instantaneous displacement of a damped harmonic oscillator solved by Laplace by using Laplace and inverse Laplace transform okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you